he was doing uh, to propagate the message of Uttara, uh, to spread the vision and vision of Uttara, and to take us uh, one step ahead what what has been done before. Every day there is uh, something new we are doing here. As you know, uh, uh, like all the organizations, so non-profit organizations, Petra was, was trying to do its best to support the program it represents, to spread the education in the children and the Muslim children. But after 9-1-1, there was this big crisis that we are uh, facing 80% of the budget uh, is being uh, recovered by the sale of the books and other uh, revenues, but 20% ECRA is in deficit. Uh, I want you to support us, and uh, you'll soon be receiving an email. I would request you to uh, forward that email to your friends and email groups so we can save this unique organization from collapsing. Uh, to tell you more uh, and to welcome you, I would like to request uh, the uh, Executive Director of ICRA International Education Foundation, uh, uh, Jai Bhai, Jai Bhai, please. I would like to request uh, the Executive Director of uh, ICRA International Education Foundation, uh, the torchbearer who has taken the, this mission uh, to what we are uh, now. I would like to request Dr. Abdullah Ghazi to please come and tell you more about what we are doing. Come on behind you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Ramadan Mubarak and Ramadan Kareem. Uh, may I have your attention please? Uh, if I don't get attention, I'll continue to speak. Uh, so please, uh, I need uh, your attention for a few minutes. It's just to thank you and welcome you to the International Education Foundation. Uh, it is great pleasure, great honor in this month of blessing and baraka to have friends together. This is part of the spirit of Ramadan. Uh, once I have to give a talk at Harvard University on Ramadan and people will say, were saying that how could it be a celebration? How could people be happy? They are not eating, they are not drinking, they are, there is no fun. But then uh, Dr. Animal Shimal came to my rescue and she started describing how it is celebrated in Pakistan and in uh, Egypt and in Turkey. So the celebration is that we are doing this for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is the greatest pleasure that is in life for a believer. I remember uh, 1967 when I came to this country and when Ramadan came we did not even know. I was at Harvard University, there was no masjid in Boston. Uh, there was a center far away in Quincy and with Dr. Mahmoud Ayyub who was in transition between Christianity and Islam, Alhamdulillah, he and myself uh, did few fasts and few tarawi with Alam Tarakev. That was the situation then when I came to this city, 1978-79, we still we are doing the tarawi at home and with the short surahs. Today, mashallah, in America, we have seen the growth. There are 7 to 10 million Muslims. There are close to 3,000 masajid, Islamic centers, Islamic schools. And in Chicago itself, there may be over 150 places known where tarawi is being recited. And those people who are doing the Quran, completing the Quran, all of them are children, our children, our generation. So there is something wonderful going on in America and we are fortunate that we are part of that change and transformation which is coming to this society. Also, you have heard the speech of our President Barack Hussein Obama that what a candor, what a language, how he was expressing himself. It could have been delivered by any Muslim head of the state but not with the same candor, not with the same clarity. So we have opportunities opening up here. It is the land which has the law. It is the land which has the opportunity. It is the land which has the skills. And it is the land where there is a rich diversity never existed in the Muslim world. 
Muslim world has always been diverse, but the diversity in America of the Muslims and of the great American society is, is so much that here we have tremendous opportunities and openings. Ikra is one of them. And we started on our dining table, we started in our basement, we started in our garage, and there are so many organizations around that which started like that, MCC maybe is one of them, and there are, whether you call Isna or Ikna, whatever organizations there are. Alhamdulillah, we have traveled long way. We completed a complete program of Islamic studies. We completed another program of Madrasa education uh, for Singapore, and, but we have to go forward. Unfortunately, 9-11, after that this uh, slow economy is affecting. Uh, I, inshallah, will send you a love letter on behalf of Ikra Foundation in the mail. Uh, open it. Uh, it will be in my name. So don't fear opening because generally there are all kinds of spam going on. Uh, this will have attachments and I will request you to respond to that. Inshallah you will. And forward it to your friends and your own mailing list and request them to forward it further on. So we hope Inshallah uh, it will have a multiplier effect. The multiplier effect is as the Quran says, Kazarain, Afraja Shatahu, Fazarahu, Fastarlasa, Fastawala, Sufi, Yujibu Zurra, Ali Arida, Bihimul Kufar. Like you sow a seed, and the seed goes down in the earth, but it sprouts up, it stands on trunk, trunk it becomes a tree, of Tayyaba, Kalebatun Tayyabatun Asluha Sabitun of Karwaf is Sama, that the Kalema, which is pure, which glorifies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which which describes the beauty of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the teachings of the Quran is deep rooted in the earth, but its branches go up in the sky. So that is the nature of a good deed, and that is the nature of our actions, inshallah, that we have done here, that has brought out masajid, that has brought out the schools, that has brought out the community organizations. So each organization is important. I want to give a special message. When, in the, in, when you open the mailbox, now half of your mail is requesting you to give donations. And some people talk that donation fatigue. There should never be a fatigue in donating something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given. And he describes that muttaqi are those, believers are those who give out from what, they, what we have given to them. Now, these organizations, we are approaching us the Islamic organization once a year or twice a year, they spend some resources on the envelope, stamp and the energy. And if we don't respond to them, that they don't even recover that cost. But suppose we pay $5 for each or $10, I'm not saying do that, do more. But even if we cover the cost by $5 and there are 100,000 sent out that there are 500,000 that the organization receives. And we are not hurt, and we don't get poor. So therefore, don't put away any request that comes in this month of Ramadan, and respond to each one of them. And each time that you receive, say, oh Allah, we are thankful to you that you have given us that much that we can take care of this. Plus, the countries we come from, don't forget those countries. Don't forget the society. Don't forget your relatives. And each one of us is in a position to establish a school or to take care of our neighborhood or the small, small township. Uh, Allah has given us so much and therefore every community of the world has a right over us, over our intellect, over our time and over our resources. I welcome you all once again. And this uh, building, why it is so beautiful? Because our part, part of the vision of Ikra, the commitment of Ikra is that we want to have the offices of the Islamic organizations, inshallah, wherever they are, better than our houses.